two loons on Slim Lake. Right by our campsite. It's a beautiful morning on Slim Lake. It's a little overcast. 70 degrees. There's two loons that are by the campsite this morning. Just hanging out over here. Lots of wailing was heard last night and it echoed across all the lakes here. I assume it was coming from Loon Lake or Little Loon Lake. Um, because it was not on this lake, it was echoing. Um, but last night was a good night's sleep. It was it got down to about 45, 50 degrees at some points, and then we got a little rain. Um, but no real big noises, no critters at the tent. And it was just a very quiet night. And now we're going to go make some coffee and some blueberry pancakes on day two. Making blueberry pancakes on the morning of day two on Slim Lake. We have Chef Brian over here making the pancakes. Doing a good job. I'm the scooper. I just pour the batter in. He does all the flipping. Um... Picked a bunch of fresh blueberries, put them in the batter, and we're going to see how they turn out. So we got an unmarked beaver dam without a portage from Slim Lake to Section 3 Pond. This is all Slim Lake, but we had to carry the canoe over this. They're getting their picture taken. Carry the canoe over this, big drop off, and then we have to paddle in foot deep water with rocks and lily pads about a quarter mile that way um, but as you can see this is a um, complete mess um, but it's very cool I've never done anything like this but it's, it'll be quite the challenge All right, so we're here at South Lake, about to do 120 rod portage into mm -hmm. Steep Lake. Um, so far it's been very buggy, lots of mosquitoes and larvae in the water. Uh, it's been pretty nasty, but we're gonna try to do this 120 rod portage. So, I'll keep you guys updated. So we're currently on Eugene Lake. Just got through a, a 30 rod portage and we're heading towards Little Bear Track Lake and then we have another short portage. Um, but lots of scattered storms today. We got caught in a torrential downpour with lightning and thunder on our 120 rod portage from South Lake to Steep Lake. And then we just got out of this portage. So hopefully the weather holds up and we're gonna continue paddling here. So here's Bear Track Lake. Um, has has gotten pretty windy. Um, we have all of our clothes drying from the big storms that we had today. We got caught in those portages and just started downpouring rain. But over here, this is our kitchen area and the fire area. Over here, we have our canoes stored. Make sure they don't slip into the water over here. And then what was really interesting about this campsite that caught our eye from up there was all these bones laid out. We thought somebody spray painted something from far away, but they seem to be some type of large mammal bone. Um, my guess, this right here kind of looks like a jawbone, part of a jawbone, so and that may, may be a tooth. So my guess it might have been a juvenile moose moose calf that's my best guess but it's a beautiful lake the loons are wailing out over there we have a nice 
shoreline here. Very shallow water and it's a good bathing area. And then as we came up here before, we have all of our tents or both of the tents set up back there. So that's our tent area. Got a blueberry patch all behind these trees and then around here. Um, that just goes back into the forest and we here we have our clothes drying. And then just this campsite is pretty open in some areas and patchy with trees. But nice, nice campsite. I'd probably rate it a 8 out of 10. Um, I mean it's a little too windy because it's west facing but we'll be able to see the sunset tonight so we'll be staying here for night two possibly night three not sure and I'll see you guys later looks like we're gonna be getting some more rain the uh, clouds are starting to build up and starting to get dark Tall thunderheads. Good thing we got camp mostly prepared. Just gotta cook some dinner. There's our rain tarp set up from Cook Custom Sewings. Just pinned it, um, do a bunch of different trees, just tied it around. And then we have the pinnacle at the top to have the rain runoff go away from the tarp. Alright, so we're, we're making some macaroni with this is spam. Six servings. There's so the spam. One, one serving. Got the like MSR the heating the water. Then we're gonna add the macaroni. So we're gonna have macaroni and cheese with spam. And then over here, we are trying to light a fire, but everything's super soaked after heavy rains. So we'll see how my fire starter and all these pine needles do.